Good morning. Hello everyone. How are you doing? I missed you a lot. So, today we have a new lesson. I want you to get ready for the lesson of today. Grab some papers and pencils. And the first thing that we are going to do is to write the day and date. So, I need your help. Who can say the day? It's Wednesday. Well done. And what's the date? 15 or April 15, 2020. Thank you for helping. So, here is the title of the lesson. I'm going to give you some time. Try to read. So, let's read the title together. Make picture graphs. This is the title of the lesson. Remember, yesterday we learned about tally marks and how to record the data and also how to make a survey. So, today we will be learning how to make picture graph. And as usual, we have here the mental math. So please take your time. Look at the question here. Read the question. What comes after? Two, five, nine, fourteen, nineteen, and twenty-seven. So everyone here are two videos so let's watch the videos together and please i want you to listen carefully pay attention and try to collect some information about the picture graphs hi professor burger hey joey hey Joey, mm -hmm. where are your shoes? Oh, well, we went for a really big walk yesterday, so I gave them the morning off. But they'll be here later, though. Yeah, I promised to bring them to lunch. Wait, you promised your shoes? You... Yeah, you see, we no, were... No, wait, 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 wait. What? Joey, every time you start telling me a story, I always forget to do the math. Let's have some fun doing a math riddle first, then you can tell me all about your shoes. Okay. Okay, come on over here. Let's have some fun. Because this involves lunch, so I think you're going to like it. Oh, oh, it's too bad my shoes aren't here. <laughs> now look, here's a picture graph. And what I want us to do is see if we can read the picture graph and figure out how many children, in all... So everyone, we call this picture graph because we are using pictures to represent the data, as you can see. Drink juice and milk. Ah. Now, the and is the cue that we want to add up the number of children that drink juice and the number of children that drink milk. So, let's take a look at this picture graph and see if we can make sense of it. Okay. So, this shows what we drink for lunch, and you can see the options, milk, juice, juice water. And water. And the key tells us that, that each little figure stands for one child. Okay. So, to figure out how many actually uh, drank milk, we just have to count how many children we see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So oh, we... a lot of people like milk. Exactly. So I'm going to write eight right here. Okay. Eight. And then... Ha... So everyone, we wrote eight over here because as you can see, eight people drank milk every day during lunchtime, let's say. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's the juice and here also the water. How many actually drank juice? Well, I look at the... He's asking about juice now. So how many... Juice line. And if I read across that row, I see we see one, two, three. Three juice drinkers. Exactly. Yummy. So now, to put them together, I'm going to add, and that will tell me how many we have in all. Okay. And three, uh, eight plus three equals 11. 
And so we see that 11 children actually drink juice and milk. And the and, remember, is important to realize that means addition. And that's how we read a picture graph. We look at the key very carefully. We see that this little figure stands for one child. And then we just can count, and we can count, and then we add. And that's it. So the question here was, use the picture graph to answer the questions. How many children drink juice and milk? So he added them together, as you can see. Ah, oh, that was great. Maybe I'll make one for lunch with my shoes. Oh, <laughs> then we can idea. figure out later. You know, I, I really hope they, they turn up wait a minute, wait for a, lunch. What's that sound? Oh, look it! It's my shoes! <laughs> Come on, shoes! Oh, I'm so glad you showed up for lunch. I thought he was kidding. Since my shoes made it, I'll see you tomorrow, Professor. Okay, Come Joey. on, shoes, let's go to lunch. Have fun with math. We'll see you soon. So, everyone, after watching the video, let me remind you with the tally chart. As you can see, this is a tally chart. We call it tally chart because uh, we use tally marks to represent the data. So, everyone, as you can see, here is a question and we want to fill the tally chart so we're going to read carefully let's say maha asked her friends to name their favorite juice so eight said said apple so eight four said orange and two said grape show her data in a tally chart so what we're going to do first of all here apple 8 chose apple so we're going to go to apple and draw a tally marks one two three four five six seven eight so we're going to write eight and four said orange so Orange is here, so one, two, three, four. And two said gray. So we're gonna, so sorry, I'm gonna write four here first. And then one, two. So everyone, as you can see, we recorded the data by you know, writing the total over here and also added the tally marks. So everyone, as I said to you so far that the tally chart and the picture graph are the same. We use two of them to collect data. But the difference is here in the tally chart, we use tally marks while here we use pictures so let me show you something for example uh, we're gonna or let me say we're gonna use the tally chart to make a picture graph so we're gonna just move the data over here it's the same so here the tennis shoes as you can see there's or there are three tally marks so here we're going to draw it's hard for me to draw the shoes, so I'm gonna choose circle. You can draw tennis shoes if you want. And for the flip flops, here there's five, so one. We're just moving the data to the picture graph. Two, three, four. Uh oh. Let me fix it. Okay. So finally, let's go back. Five. And the boots only one, so draw only one picture. So what you're going to do is to draw pictures. Any pictures, let me say circles or whatever. If you have time, you can draw the same as this one, the shoes. 
so here is task number two and uh, what we're going to do is to collect data or to record data so what you will do is to use pictures as I said to you earlier and here use the data to make a picture graph make sure to label the graph with the title so I chose this title favorite sports so let's go to hockey so let's count how many people chose hockey so one two three so what I'm going to do is to draw I'll try one two three and how many people chose ice skating let's look over here there's one two so it's hard for me to draw I will try okay I can draw so here uh oh two and finally the soccer how many people chose the soccer one two three four so it's easy to draw the ball right so one the football I mean one two three four I did it so everyone finally here's the closure draw objects according sorry to the tally marks so what you're going to do is to collect the data and um, transfer it here so if you look at the picture we can you can see that we collected the data and we recorded the data in the tally chart so this is the tally chart and this is a picture graph so they are the same we use two of them to show the data data is the information right so as you can see here there is let's say five rockets so as you can see here is five here as you can see there is only one and here one two three so you can see three so what you're going to do is to transfer the data from the tally chart to the picture graph so let's go ahead and see so here only one here is okay you're gonna transfer it here so let's draw I want you to draw picture because this is a picture graph the rocket as you can see there are three tally marks so we're gonna it's hard for me to draw but I will try and finally there are five tally marks so we're gonna transfer them to the picture graph so one two oh my gosh sorry for the, for this three four five well done so what you're going to do is to draw pictures but I can't use this uh, pen properly so for you try to draw finally please don't forget to upload your work in your portfolio in class dojo thank you and have a nice day bye bye